Welcome and welcome back to another tutorial guys. So in this tutorial we are going to be using Unreal Engine again to create another particle effect. So the particle effect that we're going to be sort of creating this time is I want to almost create a sort of portal. Like there's something that visually says you walk through here and looks quite visually dynamic. So again we're going to start by creating an image and all I've done is created this image which is quite simply if I were to add a new layer I just use the circle tool a bunch of times you know change like the key value and then you know repeat slap a fill in there like a gradient fill um, and yeah ended up with this now, this would look even better, like if you wanted to play with it even more, maybe put like throw a you know, texture down in there or something. Um, look quite good, give it like some gradient lines. And again, we're just going to save this as a PNG, because we want that in ever important alpha channel. So, already got that saved. And let's jump across into Unreal. So I'm just going to be using a blanket template in here, and let's get started. So I'm going to import my image, and I'm going to right-click this because it imports the texture, and we want to create this into a material, and I'm happy with the default name. So let's go inside it, and we have got this. Let's switch this to like a, a a flat view and wait for it to come up. In fact, we'll uh, just work while it renders it out while it figures out what it's doing. So I'm going to set this to additive and we want that opacity. We want the invisibility behind it. We don't want um, any sort of background with this. So we just want the circle. And okay, close that, do that. And let's save that and get out of here. Cool. As you can see, that looks all right. Cool. All right, let's right click and create a new particle system. So I'm gonna call this one like Portal, um, portal party. With an eye, because that's what I call my particle effects. Because I'm cool like that. And let's double click and open our particle editor. Right, so inside our particle editor, the first thing we are going to want to do is change what is spawning. So we don't want this default particle, we want our awesome new cool particle. So let's drag and drop that in there. And, as before, as I mentioned earlier, what I'm going to do is drop my spawn on here as well. Let me just... Yeah. Let's set this just so it's on the edge of the screen. Cool. Alright, and let's go back into our particle emitter system. In fact, you know what? Shove that left. Cool. So I want to be able to see it as I'm editing it. And I know you can use the viewport, but I find the viewport's more hassle to mess with, and you kind of want to see it, how it's going to look anyway in the rest of your scene. Alright, so the first thing we are going to want to do is change our spawn. So at the moment, we are spawning loads. So... I'm going to actually just drop this straight down to 5. I kind of feel like between like 4 and 6 works quite nicely. Um, so play around that number. But the important thing that we're going to mess with is this velocity. So our velocity at the moment is just yeah set to default. So what we're going to do is we are going to change this, which is our height. And we are going to drop that all the way down to 1. So we're not doing much. And I actually want this to have a bit of depth as well, to give it almost like the illusion of depth. So I'm going to set that to minus 10. So it almost looks like 
a thing is pushing backwards. Yeah, that was quite good. Cool, and where we're going to actually get our sort of effect style thing from is going to be in this initial size. Initial size. And in here, we're going to change our start size. Our start size. In fact, no, well, not what we're going to do. We're actually going to use um, a size over time. Size by life, sorry. And if we go in here, go down into our point. So we've got first point and end point. What we're going to do is change our end point. So if we slam this to right, have a look, see what that looks like. It's coming in massive. We bigger than all we want. What we actually want is going to be about 50. Oh my god, that is too big. That's too big. Let's try 25. Cool, and you see how it almost looks like it's blurring inwards. Let's just get rid of this for now. And it looks like we're blurring inwards. We're getting this sort of cool effect. This is going to look really nice when our material decides to load in. Um, cool, our material is now loading in. Alright, let's continue to sort of play with it. I'm going to stack this on my podium for now, just so I can sort of see it. Over here is the um, heart particle from the first tutorial, but we're not interested in that right now. So, as you can see, this sort of looks really nice. Looks really cool, very sort of inviting. Let's go back into our particle system. I'm just going to pull this aside so we can see both things happening at the same time. Um, yeah, nice. Another thing I sort of want to play with is going to be this lifetime. And I'm going to drag this right to roughly around that 5 mark. And it's going to give it more, um, more depth. Actually, that's too high. I feel like that's too high. It's going to give it a bit more like seemingly sort of randomness, soften out um, like the sort of blur, kind of almost making it look a bit more like holy or a bit like more plasmary. That's pretty good. And um, you can sort of see what I mean about it, like if it had like um, a rough texture on there as well, how that would have looked pretty good. Um, but ultimately, I think that looks quite inviting. Um, enough for now, anyway. So, with this built, let's have a look at it from a bit of distance. That looks pretty good. Um, if you put, like, you know, that between, like, a doorway, or then, like, in a door frame, something like that, or, like, through a window, it's definitely going to want to lure you in. Especially, you know, with that sort of low opacity sort of feel. And the good thing about the particles in um, Particle Myths in Unreal is they always face you, no matter what you're doing. So even though we've made this based on a 2D object, it's going to follow you around, which looks really nice. Looks really cool. Cool, so if you found that useful, um, please let us know in the comments, like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.